Hi, I'm Will Reynolds, and we're here today at the lovely Rookery Waters in Cambridgeshire. I've decided to fish today on Magpie Lake, peg 23. I've decided to go for an edge approach. I've got two lovely margins. On my right hand side, it's a lot shallower, so I intend to fish some ground bait there. To my left, it's a lot deeper, so it's a good idea to sort of try and feed hard pellets there, save the fish coming off the bottom too much. Or if they do come off the bottom, I'll try and catch them shallow. But to me right with ground bait, it's a lovely depth down there. So uh, I should be able to get a few fish coming in and catching there. So I think it's uh, time we get the ground bait sorted out and get fishing. Right, we're gonna start getting our mix ready for the day now. For me, when you're fishing in the margin, there's no better than a 50-50 mix of the mainline margin mix and the mainline method mix. To, to mix it up, it's as simple as anything, just we'll add a bag of each to a bucket. Like that. In with the other. For me, I like to add, to make just as another extra little additive, I always like to add, especially this time of year, one of the mainline syrups to the water. Either, I, my personal favourites are the pepper tuna or the activate. They're both really meaty and they work really well this time of year. All it is you're gonna need to do, just a big glug into the water. Give it a good swish round. And all that will do is really flavour your water up ready for when you're going to add it to your ground bait. And then all it is a case of add your, ground, add your water nice and slow, give it a good mix round. You haven't got to really worry, with, when you're fishing down the margin, you haven't got to really worry too much about fishing like the lumps and things like that, because I don't think it matters too much. Just give it a good mix up. You might have to come back to that now, so if you leave that for sort of 10 minutes, come back to it, add a little bit more water. And then once that's took on all that water, give it a little riddle if you want to. Haven't got to be too uh, fussy about it. And then uh, that'll be ready, good to go. Now we've got the bait sorted, while the ground bait's resting, I've had a good plumb up and I've found about 18 inches, 20 inches to my right, which is perfect for where I want to feed some ground bait. To my left, it's about three, three and a half foot, so it's really deep. So I've decided to fish a shallow rig there and throw some mainline activated four mils and six mils and uh, try and catch them off bottom there, because I think I'd have too much trouble with foul lookers. Right, that's the ground bait sorted. All the rigs and the depths are sorted. I'm choosing to use meat today on the hook. It's the natural beatane meat. So all I think we need to do now is get fishing. Right, to kickstart the margin swim, I've started off by cupping in a couple of big pots of ground bait and left it. The reason I do this is just to help draw the fish in and try and let them settle over it before you go down there and start fishing. I like to use ground bait in the shallower water because it creates a big bed of bait that's not really overfeeding the fish and it just keeps them lingering over it in your peg for a lot longer. With my margin swim to the left, as it's a lot deeper, I choose not to fish ground bait there as you can have problems with the fish coming mid-water, foul lookers, so I choose to try and fish heavier baits, i.e. hard pellets, and you just tend to find it'll be a lot easier to catch the fish. While I've just landed that fish, I'll quickly run you through the gear and the setup I'm using today. Right, today I'm using, I've got some black hydrin from the Elastic, 
down to some 019 Guru Engage. I've got a new Guru 0.2 float. It comes down to a bulk of five number eights, and then I've got an 015 hook length to a 16 extra strong carp. Well, there you go. Goes to show that if you can get your bait right, your ground bait mixed correctly, you get the correct depths, the right parts of your peg, you can have a lovely day's fishing, catching plenty of these. <laughs>